mandate takes effect, and that means anybody on public transportation must wear a face covering. This is all part of President Biden's plan to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Our Ryan Jenkins reports. These new federal requirements are in addition to any mask rules or requirements that may have already been in place by airlines or bus systems, for example. All throughout the airport today, you can even find free packs of masks provided by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, part of an effort to get everyone to mask up as refusing to wear a face mask at the airport is now a violation of the federal requirements that went into effect overnight. The CDC issuing a press release saying in part that the new order is quote, part of a comprehensive science-driven U.S. government response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And the mask won't only be required at the airport, but also so while riding on, getting onto, getting off of, or waiting at a public terminal or station for trains, buses, taxis, even rideshare services nationwide as well. The rule applies to anyone ages two and up, and there are some exceptions for people with ADA-defined disabilities, according to the CDC. I've been talking with travelers here at the airport about what they think about the new rules. I think it's a great idea. You know, I think that we can all do our part. Um, and wearing masks, it's not about protecting other, it's not about protecting yourself, it's about protecting other people. Um, I think it's important that we should, uh, we should all do that. I think they're uh, going in the direction that may help, it may help a little bit. According to this 11 page order on the CDC's website, this will all be enforced by the TSA and federal authorities and also by cooperating state and local authorities as well. Reporting at Milwaukee's Mitchell International Airport, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.